In this video, let's learn the double uni knot. This knot is one of the simplest knots you can use whenever you need to connect two lines together and is extremely easy to tie because it's basically one knot tied two times. This knot can be used to connect braided fishing line to monofilament or fluorocarbon line and any combination of those. But that being said, there is one situation where this knot should never be used. So make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you don't make that mistake. All right, so the very first step of this knot is obviously to get the two lines that you wanna connect together. In this case, I have a 30 pound fluorocarbon line and a 50 pound braided line. This is a very useful knot for tying these types of lines together if you're tying this leader line onto your braid or if you wanna add more braid onto your spool, it's a very small knot uh, on braid and so you can tie braid to braid as well. So what you wanna do is you're going to first overlap these lines and give yourself several inches of overlap on each side. Eight inches or so is what I like to have. So once I have my overlap, I'm gonna pinch both of these lines together here in the middle and then what I wanna do is I wanna take this line and bring it around in a loop over and on the top of both of these lines. So now that that's over the top, what I've made here is a six. And this probably looks familiar to you if you know how to tie a uni knot, because hence the name, what we're doing is tying basically two uni knots together in order to form this connection. So. Similar to the uni knot, what we're gonna do at this point after we've made our six is we're gonna take the tag end up here and we're gonna run it behind and through the loop that we just made. So, as you can see, we've just take it and then we're gonna repeat that process a number of times. Take the tag end, run it around, behind, and then into and through that loop. Now you're gonna do this a number of times and the number depends on how strong and thick the line is. For a very heavy line, you're really only gonna to wanna to make three or four wraps. For very thin or um, small line, you're gonna to wanna to make several wraps. For a line this size, about five wraps or so is adequate. So then what you wanna do is hang on to both of the lines here on this end and on the tag end side, you just wanna grab hold of the line that you just pulled through. What you wanna do at this point is you wanna go ahead and start to pull some slack out of that knot. And then before you pull it all the way tight, you are going to wanna wet the line as always. Okay, once the line is wet, you can get a good grip on the tag end and then both of the lines on the other side and go ahead and draw that knot all the way tight as much as you can tighten it down. And you can even pinch the end of the knot and kinda of stack it on itself but don't worry too much about how neat this looks because once the knot is complete, it'll draw itself together. Now what you wanna do is take your other side, which you have a bunch of tag end, and if you have far too much tag end, you can simply slide this knot further down so you're moving uh, the knot along the braid, or vice versa. If you need more tag end to work with and you're too narrow, you can just simply grab and pull to give yourself more tag end. Now what you wanna do is the same process but mirrored. So I want to create it, lay it on top, create my opposite six in this case. So once again, I pinched both lines together. I took this line and I ran it on top of both. And I've made my kind of opposite six right there. Now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and start doing my wraps. So I'm gonna bring it from behind and through the loop. One, two, four and five times. Because this is braid and probably a little bit thinner, I could easily do a sixth run through and that's not gonna hurt anything. And one note here is I wanna make sure all of this is on the far side of what I've already created. Because if this loop gets tangled up in here or is on this side, obviously this knot is not going to work properly. So now what I'm gonna do is take the tag end and begin to draw this tight. Before it gets all the way tight, I wanna wet the line. And while that's happening, if this video has been at all helpful to you, hitting that subscribe button really helps the channel and I very much appreciate it. Once the line has been wet, I can draw this knot pretty tight on itself and it's braid so it's gonna fall into place quite well. And now what I wanna do is get a hold of both of the main lines. So on this side, it's the braid and on this side, it's the fluorocarbon. And I don't wanna hang on to the tag ends anymore. I just want the main lines. So once I just have the main lines, I can start to pull on each of them and it will begin to draw the knots together. And what I wanna do is pull it all the way tight on each other. And then I, I like to 
kind of get a better grip. And at that point, I can really pull on it. As you saw right there, it pulls the knot in tight and everything is cinched down. And the very last step of this knot, once the knot is fully tight, is I like to pinch, kind of just cover the knot um, to where I have my tag ends both free. And then what I'll do is take my favorite pair of clippers, clip both tag ends, like so. And now what you've made is your double uni knot, like so. One situation where you do not wanna use this knot involves very heavy line. So if you need to tie two lines together, but one or both of them are very heavy, you typically don't wanna use this knot for two main reasons. The first is that it's sometimes difficult to get heavy monofilament or fluorocarbon line to fully cinch down on itself. And if you're tying that line to braid, the braid sometimes has a tendency to partially or fully slip through the heavier line, which can completely compromise the knot. The second reason is, even if the knot is completed and holds up, it can be quite large and difficult to reel through the eyelets on your rod, and it can cause problems on the spool of your reel. There is a knot which provides a much better connection between heavy line and light line and causes none of those problems. So click on this video here to learn how to tie that knot. And thanks a lot for watching.